Today we're playing Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures. Now I had this game when I was a child. We were broke and we made the best of our bad situation. So I actually do remember playing this with my family and everybody gathered around and we actually beat this game. I remembered it pretty fondly. Then I went back and played it again and I found out that my child self was very, very wrong. This game sucks. Right away, you can see a glaring problem of not actually being able to control Pac-Man directly. Instead, you steer him using a slingshot and a look button. Yes, you heard me correctly, a slingshot. Can you imagine playing any other game and having to use a slingshot to control it? The look button has to be the worst game mechanic I've come across yet. The use of it is to point Pac-Man's attention in a direction or at something that you might want him to interact with. Well, the problem with that is it takes forever for him to respond, so by the time you've pressed it, he's already moved past it and doesn't even know what you're talking about. He looks at you all confused. You're telling me that this is the best way you can get Pac-Man's attention. This, right here. Get Pac-Man's attention by screaming look at him. I mean, come on, this is how a two-year-old communicates with you. Why can't I control him? It would help me a ton more because Pac-Man is a coward and runs away from the slightest of things. Danger sign? Wait, hold on. Sorry. Danger sign. He runs away. Sleeping farmer starts to yell at him. Runs away. Cat attacks you? You die. Yup, death by cat attack. He becomes immobilized with fear when he sees a ghost and dies if you can't power him up in time. Oh yeah, scared to death by a ghost. That's our superhero! So to power Pac-Man up, you need to get these power pellets that you collect from a tree in front of his house. Now as far as I know, this is the only way you can get these. And the power pellets are the only way you can defeat the ghost. So if you run out and you have a ghost attacking you, you're out of luck. And at which point you'll die and then you'll start at the beginning of the zone and you'll have to go all the way back home to get more pellets. Which could take forever. And it sucks because Pac-Man doesn't always consume them when they land on screen. And so sometimes you can miss, and that's it. It's gone forever. You don't get it back. It's gone until you go collect more. The quests are some of the most mundane quests you can think of, too. Going to get milk? Go get flowers? Go get a skateboard? Why is a very well-known character basically going around gathering shopping items? You have someone who is best known for killing ghosts, and you have him out running errands like a soccer mom. There might be an explanation now that I think about it. Pac-Man is pretty inept. He stumbles on small stones even after you point them out. He can't remember the next step in his shopping list without your help, and I swear he has the worst case of ADD I have ever seen. He gets distracted from what's distracting him in the first place. Huh? This makes you wish even more that you could take control over him, or just pound him into a pulp. In the milk quest, he finds the cow, finds the bottle, gets the milk, then starts to walk the wrong way home. I hate this guy! Oh, and Pac-Man has two kids. How did this guy make two kids? That's right! Pac-Man has two kids. My guess is Mrs. Pac-Man got tired of him and found some other yellow ball to father her children. Maybe that's why she's always sending him out of the house. Just look at her face and tell me that's not what she's doing. She's like, go on, get out of here. I got a tennis ball coming over later and I don't want you to be around when he shows up. The whole game is a trial and error game. Guessing your way through is near impossible. They padded the game time by making it unclear what to do. This just wastes your time, and infuriates you even more! There's a hang glider portion in this game, where it's a memory test rather than skill. So that guy put a hose in his mouth, and filled him full of air, and we're just supposed to accept that. The control for what you get is just awful. The input is delayed and inaccurate, 
you're forced to use the D-pad and only the X or Y axis, but never both at the same time. Did that cat just steal my wiener? Pac-Man is now without a wiener because of that cat. A cat stole Pac-Man's wiener. That was a good looking wiener. I wanted that wiener. The gliding stage that I mentioned is a mess and it took probably about 50 attempts to do because you have to move the cursor all over from one side of the screen to the other. You need split second timing and if you're not careful, you can get stuck. In the park, you can get caught in a death loop by not doing the exact right thing at the right time. You have about an 8 second window. I had to reset my game a couple of times after getting stuck here and not knowing how to get out. You do, however, get some kind of revenge because you can shoot Pac-Man with the slingshot which I spent probably too much time doing. But it was really fun. I mean, after going through all this frustration, unloading Summit Pac-Man was just way too much fun. Just sitting there shooting him over and over again, making him get really angry. And then when he falls on the ground and he's all dazed, you get to shoot him in the face again, and he wakes up. It's nice. I like it. That's the only part of this game that's actually fun. So, shy of beating up Pac-Man, there's really no value to this game whatsoever. It's pretty boring, doesn't make any sense, and it's not even worth picking up. I mean, like, if you have to collect every game, then sure, maybe pick it up, but don't play it. For God's sakes, don't play it. But uh, other than that, <clears throat> nothing really I have to say. I did want to point out really quickly that I am sorry for the long gap. I was having some uh, health issues where it was a flu and then a cold right back to back. My voiceover in this episode was pretty nasally because of it and I'm sorry about that but uh, I should be getting back to normal and I already have another game lined up for next time so uh, look for that uh, thank you guys for watching again and uh, make sure you go subscribe to the flip your bit channel as well I'll leave a link in the description for you and uh, that's about it you guys keep having fun out there I'll see you next time